Hello, it's Barbara Conniff, and I'm having a really bad hair day here to talk to you about something that maybe has your hair on fire at times, and that is cancellations and rescheduling. So we have some tools now in Central Reach, and they can also be exported into Excel for those who really like that. But here we have in Central Reach a way that we can track cancellations and rescheduling using cancellation codes, and I'll show you how to do that. And then the other supporting work we have for this are how the CCCs manage cancellations and reschedules when BTs cancel and when clients cancel. So I'm going to go into Central Reach and share my screen so you can see how I get to this information. So going here, we will share. Uh, Central Reach, as you know, has this section that's about scheduling, and it looks like I should be connected. I hit the little scheduling thing, and I go down to View as Grid. That brings this grid up. It has a default that says, who's the principal on the appointment? Well, I'm going to take that out. So what this enables me to do is I can search up a particular client or provider and take a look. Let's look at one. There he is. And so I'm going to look at his um, clinic experience here. Across the top, you'll see three uh, words, active, canceled, deleted. And you'll also see a time sequence. So just if I wanted to do a simple look at what has this client had, so maybe I want to look at the first two weeks of this month for some reason. How is he doing in therapy? I'm going to go to these weeks. I've custom applied this, and it's going to say what he has had. I'm going to see if any of his active therapies, if that has been canceled. I'm going to take off the active, and I'm going to put canceled. So as we see here, it looks like he did have a cancellation. If I collapse this, I see a little bit more information. I see that uh, here's the provider. It was one-to-one -one therapy. And if, as you see me looking over, I'm just looking at my central reach screen. Oh yeah, you don't see me. I've covered myself up. Maybe you have, I don't know how that works. But anyway, to continuing to talk, what's going on with this? And then a couple of important things. Client cancellation is the canceled reason and then unplanned event as an update note. So that means something urgent happened. We have other cancellation reasons that I will cover shortly, but just to give you a flavor of the technology, you could even, if you're watching this client's experience or providers, you can even save this filter or add different dates and take a look. But if you're just um, wanting to get some general information about your clinic, you can also, take the client out, go to organization contact labels, and then as you reveal them, find your office location. Let's look at this office. Now this will say, here are the cancellations that have happened, and there are 100 per page. So what this will do is, let's take a look now, if we want to filter even more and find out these reasons. If we collapse, we can see the reasons here and the codes, the update notes um, that are put in there. If we want to maybe say, okay, I just want to look at provider cancellations, or I just want to look at client cancellations, you know, I can go back to my filters, and then I can um, go into the created, modified, or canceled section. In the cancellation reasons, we have client cancellation, other, which are unclassifiable, don't fit into a category. We use few of those. Provider cancellation or provider change. Provider change is one we use that if we're able to reschedule somebody, if a client cancels and we can reschedule like a makeup session, either with that provider or a substitute, because as you'll see, you'll want to be interested in how many of the canceled hours are made up. So let's say I want to look at provider cancellations. This will tell me uh, the number of provider cancellations that have happened during these two weeks. We can collapse, and again, we can see the reasons. And I'll show you how to export all of this to Excel when I'm done, if you want to sort 
reasons and group them. Just depends on you know what you want to know, or if you're working with a client care coordinator, what do you want them to produce for you? Uh, so anyway, uh, we've got this. Now let's say we want to look at um, what what sort of hours that means in this. So this is a two week group. So don't think of this in terms of weekly weekly hours. This is just showing you that we can run this thing called stats and we can say, okay, what are these hours? And in these two weeks, there were 150 hours affected by cancellations in total. Now that's gonna want us to know, okay, how many of those might've been made up? And I do wanna give um, a caution here. We have just now started rigorously using this provider change. So the makeup report here is underreported in this example. And I'm just showing you what we're doing, just so you know how you can look at it. We are rolling out to the CCCs um, on the heels of this video, these instructions, so we can more rigorously report provider change. So when a provider change has happened, uh, we can see how many that there were, and if we want to look at the stats and say, well, how many hours did that get us back during this period of time, we can see that we made 10 hours back. And again, this is underreported, just so you know. We're... So anyway, let's say we want to take a look at um, what we can do with taking this information. Let's go back to, let's get rid of the cancellation reasons and just say, Okay, let's see if I can refresh and get. Let's say I want to look at the provider cancels. I can also do this with, um, before I get into the filtering, to uh, export into a spreadsheet. So we've got a lot of things we want to export into a spreadsheet. To do this in Central Reach, you click on this little cloud, you go to CSV, go to Files, it makes you go here to say this is what it is. I sure would like to download it. I'm going to click on a link. I'm going to open it up. And this is kind of a wonky view. There's a lot of extraneous data in here. I'm going to pull it over on my share. But the thing that's important to know is, you know, here's the date of the cancellations, the dates they were changed, the change note, which tells us, and this is where if you wanted to group, okay, let's sort and figure out what's driving all of this okay this is giving me an alpha grouping where all the sources of my changes are okay so i get a sense that you know time off requests seem to be driving a lot of these and second and then health issues and unplanned events so this you know again some of this can be just stripped out because it doesn't mean anything uh, but you know you can look at these headers and uh, make them wider and see, okay, who are the people? And you can sort by people. Let's say you're really interested in um, looking for a particular people who cancel. There they are. Uh, and you can take a look at, you know, by event. And an event is a session or an appointment, what's going on. And by using, you know, the date, um, this would show you, well, are these same dates, different dates? In this case here, Andrus canceled two sessions on same day. Uh, so, uh, and again, what are the reasons? And in this case, it's time off. So you can, again, hide all this extraneous information. You can save this information, or if the CCC is doing this for you, the CCC can do this this way. Uh, it's an easy way to capture what is going on. I'm going to give a brief um, public service announcement for the CCCs. This is another reason why we only want the CCCs to enter the um, appointments because they have the standard work that they're using to enter these change notes. And I will route with this um, video the various ways that we uh, track the changes so you can see uh, that we track what's unfilled as client or provider cancellations and various reasons. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now because I think we've gone through this and that is such an exciting spreadsheet.
to look at because it is so messy and I'm not going to sit here and be Bissell and clean it up. So stop sharing. But just to talk to you a little more, um, you know, we go through the various reasons. We've been testing them for three months. They seem to be working well. Um, the whole purpose of this is to just give you indicators of are there BTs or client families you need to talk to about their cancellation experience. And then also using the provider change section to see what are we making up and why this gets important is when you're getting your weekly um, agreed upon hours reports, you know, your client agreed hours utilization that you'll start to be seeing in the weeks ahead and you'll want to know what is impacted on that time by cancellations. You'll want to look at was there anything made up during that week to mitigate some of the cancellations? And again, you know, it may not be made up that week, maybe made the following week, but you'll just want to see these trends of are we able to make up things that are significant through looking at provider changes? So I will be routing this around to you so you know what we are using. Uh, and then uh, if you have any um, questions or thoughts that you'd like to take to the CCC to assist you in taking a look at this information and central reach we are all really happy to help thank you and have a great rest of your day bye